Prologue. Dense fog blanketed the canopy of autumn trees arrayed in a myriad of yellows, oranges, and reds. In the distance, ghostly wails from a foghorn resounded throughout the valley. Its melancholy sound sliced through the silent evening air as its vibrations crept up the lighthouse spiral staircase. In the lantern room at the top, the Fresnel stood sentinel, rotating endlessly, casting its beam of light out onto the water. Anchored in the bay below, lobster boats gently rocked back and forth in the surf while the ominous storm clouds encroached upon them. A large black crow landed on the shoulder of the Blessed Virgin Mary's marble statue, which stood watch over the monastery lawn. Dangling from the sacred maternal hands, a long strand of rosary beads swung back and forth in the coming storm's steady breeze. Loud cawing emanated from the crow's black beak as the bird spread and flapped its wings vigorously. The feathered hunter took a moment to study its surroundings before flying away to find safe haven from the impending storm. Rumblings of thunder filled the air as streaks of lightning clashed with the ocean in the distance. Light winds began to swell and howl while rattling the beautifully arched monastery windows. Raindrops steadily tapped the colored panes of glass, echoing throughout the corridors as the storm began its descent upon the campus. Suddenly, the monastery door was thrust open by a nun frantically fleeing the building. Dressed in a dark burgundy habit, she ran down the front steps, flailing her arms and screaming over her shoulder, No! Stay away from me! Only seconds behind, a taller nun in a black habit clutched a short-handled axe with gloved hands while chasing the escaping sister. As the rain came down in torrents, the dark figure slipped on the wet grass. Quickly, she regained her footing and continued to pursue her fleeing prey. The frantic woman disappeared into the woods as her screams for help evaporated in the wind. Her burgundy habit flared out behind her as she tried to escape. Evergreen branches slapped her face and scratched her arms as she tried to elude her pursuer. The nun's only goal was to find a safe place to hide. As the terrorized woman ran through the woods, a low-lying branch caught her wimple, exposing her long, beautiful blonde hair and drenching it in rainwater. Glancing back through the blinding sheets of rain, she was lost in a sea of branches and tree trunks. Suddenly, she slammed into her attacker. Tears burst from her blue eyes as a look of absolute terror and recognition came upon her. Why are you doing this? What have I done to deserve this? What have you done to deserve this? The dark nun mocked. You really don't know? Peering into her eyes with disgust, the ghastly nun grabbed her arm so hard that the blonde nun could feel nails clawing into her skin. Desperate to get away, the smaller nun tried to wrench her arm free, but could not escape from the dark nun's grasp. Please let me go. You know I love you. Immediately, the assailant vehemently ordered, On your knees, sister. Panicked, the frightened woman emphatically pleaded, No, don't do this. Then, falling to her knees with her palms pressed tightly in front of her, she begged, Don't hurt me! Please! Without hesitation, a gloved hand brutally slapped the nun's cheek. Why not? I've suffered silently for years due to your mistakes. You will never comprehend how much pain you've caused me! Mud covered the side of her face as the nun fell. Her long blonde hair splayed out onto the wet ground. Frantically attempting to rise, the final thing the frightened nun saw was a sharpened axe blade swinging toward her. A grimace of shocked surprise was frozen on her face as her severed head landed on the ground. Her wide open eyes blinked twice as her lips voiced a silent protest. Her lifeless body slumped in the mud beside her head. Deep red blood spilled from her open neck, mixing with the falling rain into dark puddles like tears. Deliberately, the murderer trudged through the mud to where the nun's headpiece hung loosely on the branch of a gnarled old tree. Lifting it up in the rain, the killer inspected the wimple for any tears before hiding it in her own habit. Still holding the bloodied axe, the murderer turned to study the victim one last time and then slipped away silently, fading into the shadows. Somewhere in the dark of night, restless eyes twitched erratically beneath their slumbering lids. An eerie moan escaped between the chapped lips of its confinement. In the dreamer's mind, a rising wail of anguish rose and joined a booming clap of thunder. Violently, the figure bolted from the bed as a white flash of lightning drove the shadows from the room and momentarily blinded the once sleeping eyes.